Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have x over 3 to the power of 6 equals to 2 to the power of 6. And now here we can solve this problem for the values of x. Here first we can break this, this exponent. It will be written as x to the power of 6 divided by 3 to the power of 6. This is equals to 2 to the power of 6. So because we solve this problem for the values of x, so we move this 3 to the power of x to the right hand side. It will be written as x to the power of 6 equals to 2 to the power of 6 multiplied by 3 to the power of 6. So here we can apply the exponent law. So according to this, we can combine the exponent of these two terms and it will be written as x to the power of 6 equals to 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 6. And now here further we have uh, x to the power of 6 equals to 6 to the power of 6. So we move this 6 to the power of 6 in the left hand side. It will be written as x to the power of 6 minus 6 to the power of 6 equals to 0. So that now here uh, we can just uh, rewrite this equation as in this form. We write this x to the power of 6 as x cubed square minus. This will be written as 6 cubed square equals to 0. So here we apply uh, the algebraic formula. You know that if we have a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b. Uh, you see here our a is x cubed, our b is 6 cubed. So according to uh, this uh, formula, we write our above equation as x cubed minus 6 cubed into x cubed plus 6 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0. And now we divide this into the two cases. The first case is we write x cubed minus 6 cubed equals to 0. The second case is we write x cubed plus 6 cubed equals to 0. We call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. Now here we need to solve these two equations one by one. So first we need to focus on equation number one so that from equation number one we will just apply this formula in equation number one. This is a cubed minus b cubed equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. According to this formula, we write our equation number 1 as here you have our a is x and b is 6. So it will be written as a minus b, a is x and b is 6 into this is a square, a is x square plus a b. A is x and B is 6 plus B square. So B is 6 square and this whole equation equals to 0. So we have this is x minus 6 times of x square plus 6x plus this 6 square equals to 36 and this whole equation equals to 0. So we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write x minus 6 equals to 0. The second case is we write uh, x square plus 6x plus 36 equals to 0. So here we get the first solution uh, from equation uh, from first case is x equals to 6. This is the first root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve the second quadratic equation. So from second equation we have uh, uh, we can apply the quadratic formula here. So first we can write the coefficients of this equation. And its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 6 and c equals to 36. And we state the quadratic formula as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. This is the our quadratic formula. And now we substitute these values here and it will be written as x equals to minus b the value of b is minus 6 plus minus square root of b square b is 6 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 36 divided by 2 times of a here our a is equals to 1 here we need some simplifications and it will be written as minus 6 plus minus square root of 6 square equals to 36 minus 4 times of 36 divided by 2. Here we take common 36 uh, from inside the square root sign and we will get here minus 6 plus minus square root of this is 36 into 1 minus 4 divided by 2. And now here in the next step uh, we uh, need to take common uh, we need to take the square root of 36 so uh, it is equals to 6 and we have 1 minus 4 equals to minus square root of 3 and it is divided by 2. So we obtain here our x is equals to 
Now here we break this fraction it will be written as minus 6 over 2 plus minus 6 into here we can break this square root on uh, minus term and 3 so we write it as square root of 3 and square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2. So we get the other two complex roots are this is 2 3 is a 6 2 3 is a 6 we get minus 3 plus minus 3 times of square root of 3 iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. So from case number 1 we get these three roots. Uh, so similarly we need more three roots which we can obtain from equation number 3 equation number 2. So here we copy down equation number 2 here. Yeah, so from equation number 2 we have x cubed plus 6 cubed equals to 0. Here we can apply this cubic formula. Uh, if you have a cubed plus b cubed equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square. According to this formula we will uh, simplify our ab above uh, quadratic equation as above cubic equation as uh, first you have a plus b the value of a is x b is 6 so you have x plus 6 times of x square minus x times of 6 plus 6 square and this is equals to 0. So here we need uh, more simplifications and it will be written as in this form uh, so here uh, first we need to uh, uh, take x plus 6 equals to 0 and we take x square minus 6 x plus 6 square equals to 36 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step we have this is x is equals to minus 6 this is the fourth root of the given equation and here we need two roots which we can get from this quadratic equation here we can apply the quadratic formula so first we can write the coefficients of this equation its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 6 and c equals to 36 and again we can state the quadratic formula as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a here we need to substitute the above values here it will be written as x equals to minus b the value b is minus 6 so this is minus times of minus becomes plus 6 plus minus square root of minus b square so minus b is minus 6 and minus 6 square becomes 36 minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 36 divided by 2 times of a. So here our a is equals to 1 and here we need more simplifications and we have x equals to 6 plus minus. When you take common 36 from here uh, so we can get here 36 times of 1 minus 4 divided by 2 and now you see here the square root of 36 equals to uh, 6 only and you have 1 minus 4 equals to minus 3 divided by 2 and now here we need to break this fraction it will be written as 6 over 2 plus minus uh, 6 times of square root of 3 here we can um, when you can apply this square root on negative term it will becomes iota and it is divided by 2 so we obtain our x is equals to 3 plus minus 3 times of square root of 3 iota because when you cancel these terms we get here this one okay uh, so these are the other two complex roots which we get from equation number 2 uh, and if from equation number 2 we have these are the three roots uh, which you can just obtain here from equation number 2 x equals to minus 6 these are the three roots which we get from equation number 2 and three roots we can write above from equation number one this is the total six roots this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos